Hey team, how you going? Welcome to today's workout and we are on purple level. This is epic tier workout. So if you haven't done one of these before, please go into it realizing that you're probably gonna really be pushing yourself here today. Don't stress if you can't make it through to the end. These are designed to be super challenging. Um, if you have found yourself here and you're, you're not ready for an epic workout, have a look through the, uh, the YouTube channel for the blue level, they're the intermediate ones, or even the green levels to teach yourself the, uh, the foundations of a lot of these movements and the form for, for these exercises. So I'm gonna run through a slightly different tutorial today. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about each movement because quite frankly, there are so many movements in today's workout that I'd like you just to focus on doing them for the 20 seconds. That's right, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. This is based on the Tabata style workout where we're gonna go hard for 20 seconds, minimal recovery time and repeat, repeat, repeat for 48 minutes. This is a long workout. So I'm gonna do probably three or four reps of each of the movements here. I've got my phone here just so I can, I can uh, read them very, very quickly. First movement today, you can see it here, the jumping jack, standing tall, straight arms, wide legs, close feet, wide feet, close feet, alternating jumping jack, very, very easy. 20 seconds on, 20, uh, 10 seconds off. After that, we're going into push-ups. So in push-ups, important thing to note, straight body, if you'd like to do them from your knees, fantastic, chest all the way down, full extension in the arms and shoulders, or from the knees here, the width of the arms, completely up to you. Like I said, 20 seconds and you get a little bit of rest. After push-ups, we're doing steam engines. Steam engines are standing tall, fingertips at the temple, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Fast and furious, faster than what I did just there. After steam engines, froggies. <coughs> Froggies, we're gonna squat down nice and low. Heels flat on the floor, elbows in between the knees, hands at prayer, alternating by having your butt down, hands up, butt up, hands down. So straight legs, bent legs, straight legs, bent legs. Awesome. Hey, good morning, how you going? <laughs> After froggies, we're squatting and punching. Feet flat on the floor, again, nice wide stance. Squat, throw a punch, squat, alternate, throw the other punch, squat, punch, squat, punch. After squatting and punching, knees and elbows. Slightly different one. We're gonna start off here. We're gonna throw a knee, come down with the elbow. Throw that knee, come down with the elbow. So knee, down, knee, down. Sweet. After knees and elbows, high knee runs. Running on the spot, but then the knees come up nice and high. Like that. Bring the, the, the thighs horizontal to the ground, okay? so. After high knee runs, lateral frog hops. We're gonna go down nice and low in a sumo squat, fingertips on the, on the floor, hopping laterally. Left and right, left and right. Turning the fan on, because it's already getting warm in here. After our lateral leap frogs, we're gonna go into a small rest session, okay? Little bit of extra rest, we're then gonna hold some isometrics. We're gonna hold a plank, Forearms, straight legs, squeeze the butt, heels back, and then we're gonna hold a crab hold. Flipping over, bending the knees, pushing those hips up towards the ceiling. Nice flat body, squeezing the butt, squeezing the hamstrings. After our crab holds, we're gonna go into our second round of Tabatas, squat jacks. So this is a jumping jack with a squat. Squat down, jumping jack. Squat down, jumping jack, squat down. Advancing the movements, cool. After squat jacks, uppercut kick. So we're now gonna be in our, in our stance, fighting stance, straight on though. We're gonna do a uppercut, then a kick. Other side, uppercut, kick, uppercut, kick, kick. There we go, so nice high front kicks, nice close but high uppercut with the, the forearm vertical. After uppercut kicks, fast feet. Literally, just running on the spot, super fast. After that, we've got our kick sits. This is the probably one of the more confusing ones that we're getting into. Hands on the floor, knees on the floor. Raise those knees, so we're in panther position. Take your left leg, kick it through to the right. Sitting on the hip, hands remain flat on the floor. Back to the center, and then kick the, the right through. These are our kick sits. <clears throat> After kick sits, squatting and kicking. So it's much like the squat and punch. Squat, then it's a front kick, nice and high. Remember, you're aiming for someone your height, aiming for their chin. Kick, bang, up. After this, the uh, squats and kicks, planks to push-ups, okay? So, <clears throat> plank on the forearms. 
We're gonna transition to the top of a push-up position and then transition back down to the plank. Up, down, up, down. Good, and repeat. Keep repeating. Planks to push-ups, then convert to steam engines again. Fingertips of the temple, we've already been through these ones. Contralateral knee to elbow. But then going into Hindus. So dive bomber push-ups. But in the air, feet nice and wide. We're gonna scooch underneath a barbed wire fence, squeeze the butt in this cobra, and then reverse. Shoulder mobility, glute activation with the Hindu push-up. After that, we're going into side planks and a crab hold. So the side plank, remember, on the forearm, pushing the hips forward, using the side oblique muscles here and the hips to drive that up into a straight line. Holding that on one side, holding on the other side, and then the crab hold with our hips towards the ceiling. We've then got push-up jacks. So it's a regular push-up. As you go down, wide feet. As you come up, bring those feet together. Push-up jacks. Three sets of them. After push-up jacks, 180 squat jumps. You're gonna squat down. You're gonna jump into the air, but spin around 180 degrees. Rinse and repeat. After 180 squat jumps, we've got shoulder taps, which are on the floor. <sighs> Wide feet, push-up position, hand off the floor, tap the shoulder. Hand off, tap, and speed that up. So lots of power required in the shoulders, lots of core required so as not to rotate there. After shoulder taps, we've got toe taps, which is in our crab position. Kick one leg up, tap the toe. Kick the other leg, tap the toe. Done, keep it going. After toe taps, we've got burpees. I don't think I need to, uh, need to show you what we're doing with burpees. Chest to the floor, jump up in the air, hands above the shoulders as you jump up. After burpees, we've got kick throughs. So it's not a kick sit, we're in this panther position. Like we're about to start a kick sit, but instead, left leg forward, right hand off the floor, kick through to the front. Swing it under, kick through to the front. Like that. After our kick throughs, we have sumo scissors. Wide feet, squatting down, sumo squat. Scissor, scissor, squat, scissor, scissor and repeat, and after, after sumo scissors, squat, hook, uppercut, okay? So, squat, hook, uppercut, squat, hook, uppercut. It's a one, two, three, one, two, three. Down low, sideways, up, down low, sideways, up. Nice. Oh, you're having trouble with the sleeves. Oh no, oh no. Um, after squat, hook, uppercuts, Nearly at the end, we're back to fast feet. We're then doing burpees. And the last movement, which I haven't explained, is the horse stance. Squatting position, drop that squat, invisible horse, and hold. That's it. So you see why I didn't do too much explanation of each movement? Because there are so many movements in this actual workout, okay? So what I'm gonna do, just because while I was throwing my punches, I felt this little elastic band was not gonna hold it, it was not gonna cut it. So I'm gonna change over to a, uh, a different clasp on my watch. So now's the time chat and YouTube friends, go get your water bottle, bring that close to you because you're not gonna have a lot of rest time with this one, okay? 10 seconds between most of them. So if you want a drink, you're gonna have to quickly grab your bottle, grab your towel, etc. And what we're gonna do now, now that my watch is on, secured, Press go, put it into cardio mode. So if you're checking your heart rate there, in and go. And in 20 seconds, we're starting. You like this? Let's go. All right, jumping jacks in 15 seconds. Now remember what I said, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I want you to give as much energy as you can for the 20 seconds. Just give it everything, 110%. I know you can't go over 100 theoretically, but just try. You'll be surprised. Okay, let's go. So first movement, just get into the swing of it. Get that breathing happening because you're probably not heaps warm just yet. What's my heart rate at? 80. I'd like to get it into the green so my body knows that it's gonna be working. And 10 seconds. So for these 10 second rests, walk around, shake it off. 
Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Don't try and slow your breathing down. Just breathe as you need to. Go, jumping jacks. Back into it. So you see, I'm trying to keep my arms straight. Try not to let them bend too much. We wanna work the shoulder mobility. Lots of lats, lots of delts here. Take a rest, walk it off. Walk, 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 walk. Good. 10 seconds isn't long, but it's all you need. Here you go, one second, go. Bang, more jumping jacks. Now each of these movements, we're doing a sets of three. So faster, faster, faster. As fast as you can now. See, my heart rate's gone into the blue zone. There we go. We're in the green, we're in the green. Push-ups now. So shaking it off, we're changing discipline. We're pushing away from our body. On the floor, let's go. So if you wanna do knee push-ups, go for it. We're not bouncing on the calves, but that's not to say the calves aren't working. Push the heels back, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads, nice straight legs. And shake it out. Shake the arms, shake the chest. Keep moving throughout these 10 second rests as well. Don't just fall on the floor. It's not good recovery practice. Go. There's three sets. So if you can get through two of them, you know that, that last one is your last set. So just blast it out. Good. Take a rest, shake it off. Yeah, Sherman Tank. Absolutely, this is a purple one. This is an advanced one. All the purple ones come with a warning that this is more advanced, it's more challenging. Awesome. All right, steam engines, we're standing up. Steam, we're, we're steaming up. Fingertips to the temple, kicking that knee up. So you watch my head. My head and my neck do not dip. I'm keeping my head completely upright here. Hey, Mike, how you going? Welcome in. Mikel. Mikel? Mikeli. Mikeli. Hey. Okay. So the speed at which we're going here, Keep that, keep that as your baseline. I'd love for you to go a little bit faster now. Okay, so you own this space. This is your space, right? The squat punch uppercut. Well, see it through to the end there, Sherman Tank. And if you can work through to the end, you'll get to do it. So I'm going a little bit faster now with this one. It's like a standing mountain climber crunch. Shake it out. And you see my heart rate comfortably in that green area now. We're burning calories. We're using our lungs, using our heart. Steam energy. How bad's my spelling? En energy. En 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice, okay, froggies, elbows to knees. That one now, we've got the froggy, so we're gonna squat down nice and low. This is your resting position, just here. Heels flat on the floor, elbows in between the knees. So you're trying to go to straight legs, completely bent, completely straight and bent. So you're gonna feel this now, it's a dynamic stretch of the hamstrings, dynamic stretch of the glutes, and activation of the quads. Keep it rolling. <sighs> Belenzalu, thanks for following, friend. How you going? <sighs> All right. <clears throat> Squatting down, we got more froggies to do. So throughout this whole movement, we're keeping the heels flat on the floor, going from butt up, hands down, to butt down, hands up. Keep going. Lots and lots of quad activation with this one. Shake it out, 10 seconds. Oh, 
Watch that heart rate follow. Good. wrong with my heart rate strap. I did change the battery in it, but yeah, who knows. Here you go, Sherman Tank, squatting and punching. Let's go. Squat, throw the punch, go. Keep the hand by your head. The one that's not punching, keep that by your head. Big long reach, straight arm, straight knuckles. Good, 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 good. Keep it going, keep it rolling. Five seconds rest. Squat punch, low squat, far punch, reach, go. Shake it out. Feel those quads working. Feel those lats working. Driving, throwing. Keep going, one last squat and punch. One last. Hey, Pink Space Bear, how are you going? I got it right this time. I said Pink Space Bar last time, like you were a keyboard modder. Pink Space Bear. Hey mate, how are ya? Knees and elbow, here we go. Knees and elbow, so wide stance. Throw the knee up and then the elbow down. Knee up, elbow, knee. So imagine kneeing someone in the crotch while they're doubled over, you're gonna elbow into the back, okay? Knee. Use gravity, use your body weight to really drive that elbow down, okay? I'm not teaching you to be violent, but it's always fun. Have a situation in your mind to help drive you. Knee high, elbow low. Look at the heart rate now. Keep breathing, folks, keep breathing. Let's go. Two, one, knee. Doing some Black Friday training? Yeah, exactly. Get out of my way. That's my air fryer. I'm taking this steam iron. It's my, this is my PS5. <laughs> That's fun. But it's fun. High knee runs. This is Mikey, DJ Mikey's favorite one. We're gonna run on the spot. Bring the knees up nice and high. High, 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 high. As high as you can. Yes. Sorry, if my talking runs a little dry, because I am working. Who would I be if I was telling you to do something and I wouldn't even give it a shot myself? Let's go. Big deep breaths. Nice. Check out those heinies. <laughs> you. Keep it going. So pink space bear. The heat is definitely a factor, especially if you're the kind of person that hasn't built up a bit of a tolerance, but there are humans out there that spend their time running marathons in the desert. Taste conditioning. And to be honest, if you wanna learn how to start to, to work out in the heat, you just gotta start. Start slow, start controlled have plenty of water, 
and you're good. Lateral leapfrog hops. So down into this sumo squat, jumping to the side, keeping your chest and torso upright. You see, I'm like a frog. I'm not, I'm not bent over like this. We're getting those knees up almost into your armpits, jumping across side to side. Chat really loves where the chat. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Second, what might I eat after a workout stream? So these days, I'm usually going to uh, proats, I call them. Oats with, uh, with coconut milk or oat milk, spoonful of peanut butter, and a big old scoop of protein powder. So it's uh, oats, protein, and fat from peanut butter. It's a really, really well-rounded meal. And depending on the workout I do, I try and get a little bit more protein on my lifting days and making sure that I'm super, super hydrated after big cardio days, days like today. Lots of water. Nothing wrong with lots of water. Okay, we've got some rests. See here? The way that my timer works, I needed to add these rests in as, as just a little extras. Catch your breath. Stand up. Shake those legs. Shake the quads. Move around a bit. We're getting into a plank. Now you don't need a mat, but if you've got something like a towel or a large piece of toast, Let's do it. Forearms down, we're holding a one minute plank. So think about this, breathing. Don't hold your breath. Don't slow your breathing, but make sure you're breathing into your belly. Squeezing your butt, squeezing your quads. Straighten your legs. Shoulders should be stacked directly over the elbows. Scapula pushed forward. Try not to use your chest to breathe. Try and keep your rib cage 100% rigid and stable because I'd like you to practice breathing into your diaphragm. So that's the key to core bracing is having a nice, tight set of core muscles but using your diaphragm to change the size of your lungs, not your chest. We don't want to be big chest breathers. It has its place, but trust me, if you can become a diaphragm breather, your cardio is going to get better, your endurance is going to get better, your lifting is going to get better. It's all going to get better. Right, so triple rest, we're then going into the opposing set of muscles to a plank. That is our crab hold, friends. Hey James, how you going mate? We are popping down onto the floor, because in 10 seconds we're holding this crab. Now that crab, remember, hands are, or elbows are in extension, straight arms. Hands and elbows are directly under the shoulders. We're gonna get our ankles directly under our knees. So 90 degrees in this shoulder extension, 90 degrees in the knees, pushing the butt and the hips up, tilting the head back, because I don't wanna be like this. If you do this, you curve your spine, you don't give it the range of motion it needs to make a nice flat coffee table. You wanna be able to put a, a wine glass on your belly and hold it there. It's not gonna spill over because we're gonna squeeze our butt. We're gonna push our hamstrings, push our hips up towards the ceiling, pull our hamstrings, I should say. Sorry. And see my belly? We're inflating the belly. That's how we breathe. Use your diaphragm, not your chest. Seven more seconds, team. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And three, two, one, nice. Good, okay. On your feet, shaking it off. We've got our next set of Tabata, all right? Our heart rates have dropped into the blue zone, hopefully. We're gonna bring you back into the green and the orange. Ready? Are you ready? Hope you're ready. Second set, we've got squat jacks to do. So you remember, we're squatting down and then we're exploding up into our star jumps, into our, into our jumping jacks. So feet relatively close together with this one because you go squat, jack. Big, deep squat. 
Heels flat on the floor when you squat. Keep it going. Take a rest, take a break. 10 seconds worth. Think about what you're doing, what you could be doing better, and do it better this time. Feet close together for these squats. Big range of motion in the shoulders, in the hips, in the knees. Take your break, shake it out. Let's go. Straight arms with each of these. With the jumping jacks, straight up above the head. Good. Uppercut kicks. Sherman Tank, your favorite, let's go. Feet square on. We're gonna do right hand, uppercut, right kick, uppercut, kick. What point was that humdrum? Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm in the orange zone, so my thoughts tend to enter my head and leave my head really, really, really fast. <laughs> okay, take a rest and go. Uppercut, front kick. Only punch after your foot is back on the floor. Up, in front of you. Big, strong front kick. This is front kick. Big deep breaths. Big deep breaths. Okay, ready? Third round. Uppercut, kick. Front uppercut, front kick. Remember that vertical forearm, bang. We're going to fast feet now, so getting into position, finding a spot that you want to run in and staying on that spot. I'm going to go in this cross just here. Run fast. Twenty seconds. Get that heart rate up. Oh, Sherman Tank. Right now, I'm not gonna be able to give you a qualified answer on that one. Put it on the question queue, Sherman Tank, and I'll talk about it after this workout. Run, 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 run. But yeah, please, please put it on the queue. For anyone that is watching live, Exclamation mark, letter Q, and then type your question in, and I'll get to it after the recording. Anyone that's watching the YouTube recording here, if you've got a question, put it in the comments below, or, just wait, give me a second, faster. Come join us live on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash fit for purpose. from sometime around 7 a.m. Adelaide time in weekday mornings. Kicks it, here we go. Kicks it, bang, across. So big old twist, keep your, your hands flat on the floor, keep your knees off the floor. Twist, sit, twist, and sit. So you're kicking that leg across. Breathing deep. Kick sits are so, so bad. Thank you, Sherman Tank. Let's go. Huge amount of 
cardiovascular capacity required for these, especially after since, or well, since we've done so much already. Just keep on moving, keep on moving. Don't stop. Heart rate's in the orange. So I want you to continue pushing at that. and kicking. Let's go. Squat, front kick. Big deep squat, big high front kick. Keep breathing. Find a pace that you can maintain for the three by 20 seconds. Walking it out, shaking it off. Let's go, squat, kick, whoop, balance. Watch out for that, please. Hopefully you're working as hard as I am. If you're not, give it some more. Let's go. Yes, yes, Sherman Tank. Keep it going. If all it takes is a couple to get your heart going, do two more, take a breath. Do two more, take a breath. You got this, mate. Okay, planks to push-ups. We're gonna start off in this plank position. We're then gonna shift our weight, wide feet, into the push-up position, down, alternate arm. Lots of core required in this one. Lots of chest, lots of tricep. Sit up straight, breathe. Breathe into the belly, go. Sitting up, belly breathe, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, down, up, oh yuck. Maintaining this output, standing up now. We've got this steam engine repeating, okay? So fingertips of the temples, up. First set, nice and controlled, nice and easy. Not slow, but controlled. Keep your head up, head up, head up, head up. Do not scrunch, do not pull yourself down. Stand tall, knees higher. Keep it going. Come on, I believe in you. We're halfway through this workout now. Keep it going, keep rolling. Steam engine gets faster as it leaves the station, so get faster now. Faster, faster, faster. Ah. Let's go. Two, one, fastest, fastest ones now. As 
fast as you can with these guys. Come on, speed up, speed up, speed up. Two, one. Hindus, find your floor space. You know, wide feet, butt up in the air. Downward dog, okay? We're gonna scooch under, chin, chest, crotch. Then reverse, crotch, chest, chin. Pretend there's a fence. You've dug a hole underneath the fence and you're scooching underneath it, but it's electric. Okay, it's barbed wire and it's electrified. So you do not want any part of your back or your butt touching this fence, okay? Resting, go. Wide feet, get under. And push, get under the fence. Squeeze the butt, reverse it. These shoulders are on fire. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. How you all feeling at home? Check in with me, smash the keyboard. I know, right? Electric barbed wire. Wide feet. Reverse it. Oh shit. Sorry, I shouldn't swear. Get up, Jeff. Get up. I've got... No, I don't have to get up. I've got this extra set of rests. So I'm gonna grab a drink. You should grab some drink too. Oh. Ah. Okay, we've got our side planks, I'm pretty sure. Yes, we do. Grab your toast, grab your mat, grab your towel, whatevs. One forearm across to the side. Hold it. This arm can go in the air if you want. It can go down by your side. Whatever feels best for you to hold your balance. Squeezing your butt, pushing your hips forward, but engaging this side core, engaging your glute meats, engaging your, your shin muscles. The ones on the side, they're kind of attached to the tibia anterior, the tibia medialis, I would say. Holding, 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 got two more seconds. One. We've got the other side to do now, chat. Other side. So take this rest. Go you. Don't go me, you at home. Those that are doing this with me, you're the stars, you're the heroes. Because this one's tough. It's really, really tough. So please, try and see it through to the end with me. Because you will feel like nothing else after this. You will feel like you've, you've conquered the, uh, you've conquered the Elden Beast with this one, and it's only taken you 28 minutes, not six hours of trying and trying and trying and trying again. But I imagine if you are that way inclined, it would probably give you a very, very similar sense of achievement, but you've probably burned more calories doing this. So just hold, 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 squeeze the butt, push the hips forward. This is it, we're bringing gaming and fitness together with a strong mental mindset. We're going back into these crabs now. So put your toast away. Extra rest. I'm going to take a seat. Look at that, the heart rate's coming down. Feels good. Crab hold in 10 seconds. So butt down, hands flat. Fingertips forward if you can manage it. Straight arms. Good. Get those 90 degrees in the in the shoulder extension, 90 degrees in the knees. Push the hips up. Get someone to put a glass of wine on your belly. And balance it. Actually, you wanna make that wine glass move up and down with your belly. But if someone were to put a baguette on each of your thighs, it would not roll towards your junk, would it? That's a better analogy, baguettes and wine. Baguettes and junk. Let's keep breathing. Look, whatever. We've got 20 more seconds. I don't want you thinking about the searing pain in your glutes, hamstrings, and shoulders right now. I want you to think about baguettes and wine 
a beret and a nice stripy shirt. Yeah, and then before you know it, you got five seconds, come on. Push the hips up, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Oh. My goodness. Okay, Chad, if you can do your maths, you can see that we've, uh, you found it very fun that penises are referred to junk. Yeah, yeah, I, I, exactly. It's, they're not, they're not good looking, are they? They're not nice, they're not like, oh look, look at this thing. I'd like to make a, a large attractive effigy of it because it's so uh, visually appealing. Nah, they're weird, they're weird. Okay, push up jacks. It's like a little bit of extraneous body part that shouldn't be dangling about. But it just is. Push up jacks are tough. Take your time. Take your time. If you can't do a push up, just do plank jacks. Keep your arms straight. So if you can't do the push ups, this is what I want you to do. Like that, okay? Otherwise, get that push up in there as well. Let's work the core. Keep going, keep going. I don't want you stressing out, I don't want you quitting. One more round. Oh, my triceps. Oh, my triceps. Oh, my gosh. I gotta remember as well. I've been eating to a cut. We've been eating to a caloric deficit. I'm definitely feeling the, uh, the extra lack of calories. But this is where gains are made, right? So if you're in a caloric deficit and you feel tired, don't just lean into it. If you can get some work in, while you're in that deficit, you're doing all the more value for your fat burning potential. One eighty jump squats, squatting low, jumping, squatting low, jumping. Hey, Ragulan. Yeah, Shadow. What's the question, mate? Squat and jump. One eighty squats. Land nice and softly. Land with a purpose. What's your question, Shadow? We do an hour jump squats. We got a 180 in between them. Deep squat, down on the heels. Great question, Shadow, and I'm gonna answer it during the, the YouTube video, because I think you, you understood the assignment. With crab hold, if your wrists hurt like this, what I want you to do, twist them like that, okay? So there's a couple of things you can do with crab hold. Is number one, change the angle at which your radius and ulna, now they're the two bones in your forearm, the angle at which they're sitting at, can sometimes play a big part in wrist pain. The other thing that plays a big part in wrist pain is the angle. You see that? The angle at which your forearm your, and your hand is at. So what you can do is actually twist them out to the side and then move them out to the side. And you see now, it's more of a 110 degree angle as opposed to a 90, right? So, sorry, I'm neglecting my shoulder taps, but I think that was a great question, Shadow. Thank you for asking it. Definitely relevant question. So thank you. So you know to be doing shoulder taps, chat, or YouTube, I should say. Don't just skimp out on them because I'm, I'm laxing. I'm slacking off. Same with this. If you wanna put your hands out there to save that wrist angle as well, please do. No stress. It's not gonna hurt anything. 
by having it out here. It's just gonna be a little bit more tricky on the core muscles. So I don't mind that. If you're gonna take it easier on your wrists, but do more work with your core, that's Amore. Okay, toe taps, we're in this. So again, actually, here you go, shadow. Put your hands out to the sides with this one. You see how the angle now isn't like that? It's out to the sides. Kick the foot, tap. And if the pain is unbearable, please don't push through it because you wanna show me how tough you are. That's not tough, that's probably silly. If the pain is unbearable, just skip that movement. Super important to know there is no shame in skipping a movement if it's actually against your range of motion, if it's actually inflaming an injury and it's causing you stress and you're more likely to tomorrow not do a workout because you associate workouts with pain. We don't want that. We want you to associate workouts with, with adjustment, with, with your body actually acclimatizing to, to doing harder work. And I want you to have fun with it, okay? So toe taps again. I want you to leave today with a sweat on your t-shirt and a feeling like you've done something that not many other people are doing on a daily basis, so you're pretty bloody good. Please, 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 I want you to feel like that instead. And if you would like to feel like that, but you're having issues that you can't, you just can't get over them, I would invite you to ping me on Discord, please. So if you're watching on YouTube, the first step is to join in with the, the live streams that we do, because I can answer you live. But if you can't make them, make sure you join our Discord. There is a link in the video notes down below. There's also a link on my profile there. Get in there, ask us questions. Good bunch of people in Discord. I'm doing more burpees. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Oh, we're gonna go chest to the floor. Push it up. This is so tough, but it's good. I love it. Keep it up, team. You wonderful, wonderful people. Go, pushing up. You got this. Oh, 10 more seconds. One more. Remember the kick throughs. Panther position. We're gonna raise the right hand, kick the left leg through, back, through, back. So tough, so tough, keep going. If you can do better than me, if you're getting through this going, hey Jeff, why aren't you doing enough reps? And you're smashing me. Please comment below. Because I'm always, I'm always wanting to meet new friends that can help me to push myself, by the way. I'm looking for people that I can do some workouts with. They're gonna push me to be better. Kick throughs, let's go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Get off the floor. Sumo squats and then scissor, scissor.
Ah. 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 I apologize, I'm not talking, but you're probably right with that by now. You're probably like, shut up. I'm doing what I need to. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Keeping it going, keeping it real, keeping the heart rate high. Tank, Sherman Tank, you here? This is your favorite. Squat, hook, uppercut, other side. Squat, hook, up. Squat, hook, up. Sorry, Grace. Sorry, not sorry. Squat. I don't know how the new mics are gonna deal with it. Keep going, keep going. Squat. Okay. Oh, yeah. Much better. Squat. So it's down, side, up. Oh, kidney beans. You're gonna be, you're gonna be breathing out of your butt soon, right, Your red kidney beans, I find are the worst. It's be butt breathing. All right, fast feet, go, go. Fast feet. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah, 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 ah. I, I have trouble with beans. Like, I don't have trouble, I actually love beans. What, the people that have trouble are the ones that I live with and share a bed with. That's when, that's when the beans, yeah, assert your dominance, that's right. Ah, ah. Uh, I reckon, how long was it before you fired it in front of me, Grace? How long was it? Go, fast feet, fast feet. I remember, I think we were both a little bit funny about it, as, as normal people are. But then I can't remember when it became just, just the natural part of, Yes. Yeah, YouTube needs to know. YouTube needs to know. It's, it's relevant. <sighs> ah, you're right, women don't fart. Let's go, burpees. Yeah. Come on, mate. I've done a thousand burpees. This shouldn't be so hard. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, uh. Yeah, look, if, if someone makes you sleep outside for just, just, just putting a toot, right? It's not right. It's a bodily function. Look, you can, obviously, you can do things yourself if you want to make someone's experience in your presence being more pleasant. You could, you could fight in another space, but look, as long as you're not holding someone down and fighting on them, like, it's just, 
that's a bit of a bit of a stinky move. All right? Burpees, go. Come on, come on, people. Ten seconds, go. And look, if it's really bad, I'll own up to it and I'll apologise. And I'll be like, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk down the, walk down the, uh, the hall. We're planking. Quick, quick, grab your mat. We don't want to plank. You're right as well, Grace. Let's, uh, I want to talk a bit about stereotypes. It is a pretty crappy stereotype. The woman, the woman making you sleep out in the doghouse kind of thing. Look, if you're in a healthy relationship, there's going to be your healthy back and forth of, you know, maybe different values, maybe different viewpoints, but it never... It never succumbs to anger and never, you should never feel like that. And if, if you are finding yourself often in a place of poor mental being and poor, poor environmental health, then oh look, putting it bluntly, just get out of it. There's gonna be a better situation for you somewhere else. That could be by yourself, that could be with a different person. Make sure you make a clean break. Don't, uh, don't be silly about things for your mental health. Okay, we're finishing off team. We've got one minute of this stupid, stupid hold, okay? Yeah, and yeah, as well, Grace. Sorry, I, I kind of skip over that fact. If you're a dude and you feel like you're doing things that get other people, not just your partner, but other people, in a bad mood, then maybe take a good, long, hard look at yourself. If you find more often than not that people are actually arguing with you about your viewpoints, maybe you're the one that's a bit crap, and maybe you need to do a reassessment. <sighs> Might not be the case, but you know what? If you're, if you're in the right and you do a reassessment, then you're just gonna come up Millhouse anyway. But if you're in the wrong, take a good, hard look at yourself, <sighs> and it'll help the world. 10 more seconds, chat. YouTube, hold it. Think about how you can be a better person today. And in five seconds time, go about it. Can I, can I, can I give you a bit of a round of applause there? This is the, um, this is gonna be, I think the number, number 13 number 13 of the advanced workouts. I've got 21 beginner workouts. We've got 20 um, intermediate bodyweight workouts. And I think that's gonna be number 12 or number 13 in the advanced bodyweight workout. So for those of you watching YouTube, well done. That was not easy. You heard my breathing in the mic. You see my sweat. You see how I struggled through that last third worth of reps. I want you to struggle, I want you to push, I want you to find those barriers and just make this the toughest part of your day. Because if you're now going to the office and you've got someone in HR giving you a hard time because they're in pain and they're living through some torment, let it slide because you've had the hardest part of your day already. It's done, it's gone. And tomorrow you're gonna do another workout. All right, so Join me live on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash fit for purpose from about 7 a.m. weekday mornings, Adelaide, if you want to join the fun. Otherwise, look for more YouTube videos. Um, can't say much else. Thanks for being here.